Hello, check, check. Okay. <laughs> okay. This project is a description of two different instances on television that use brain imaging techniques as a component of their story. While deciding which prompt to pick, since there were only two, I chose the prompt that, at the time, had less people signed up on it. In order to find clips of brain imaging techniques, I figured that it would be smartest to just start looking up words on Google and find something through that method. MRI proved to be the most abundantly used imaging technique, and there were actually some articles about how pop culture uses neuroscience. This first scene is taken from season one of The Walking Dead. Is that a brain? It is loosely based on the science of fMRI. The MRI shows an image of an axial view, medial view, and what appears to be a caudal view simultaneously. These depictions, while vague and colored blue and red when they would actually be black and white, are pretty much correct. The un unrealistic aspect is how the MRI is giving a live view of the entire torso, brainstem, and brain. This is not within the scope of measure of an MRI. The CDC scientist then commands the computer to give him an EIV, or enhanced internal view. Take us in for EIV. Enhanced internal view. This feature does not exist at all, but in the show, it zooms so far into the 3D brain scan that everyone can see the live firing axons. The spatial resolution of an fMRI is one millimeter, and the largest axon bodies are 0.1 millimeter in diameter. This means that this image is fantastical by a factor of 10 or that the image at the level would have just looked like this. Overall, the imaging procedure shown in this clip could possibly make a neuroscientist feel sick. The brain is also shown dead, which actually looks like this. Whoops, luckily this tweet didn't take off. It actually looks like this. This next clip is from Woody Allen's Hannah and Her Sisters. And it shows an accurate depiction of how a CAT scan takes place. Woody's doctor suggested a scan because of an, an abnormality showed up on a prior basic x-ray, suggesting a tumor. This is where CAT scans, or computerized tomography scans, shine. And it is really also the extent of their capacities. The x-rays are absorbed differently in different densities of tissue, giving a 2D cross-sectional view of the brain. The doctor is shown hanging up these images. A lateral view of the brain, an axial view, and a zoomed-in view of the temporal bone. In Woody Allen comedic fashion, Woody first imagines uh, the doctor giving him a terminal diagnosis, only to find out that he is fine. This clip is much more accurate to real life brain image scanning and gives a good example of how stressed out people can get about these procedures. This last clip shows a dramatic expression of cerebromahiniphobia, a fictional term that I recently made up to describe the stress that you can feel when undergoing a brain scan and I would not have survived if those firemen wouldn't have figured out a way to lower my little end into that well and touch my feet and tell me it was going to be okay and that I wasn't alone. Cam, if there's a way that I could be in there with you, I would, but I can Wait a minute. You're doing great, okay? I'm right there with you. You're not alone. Thank you. Huge shout-out and thanks to Modern Family for making that last clip possible. In reflection, my experience helped me to better understand structural and functional imaging as a whole, and my newfound knowledge will help me to point out inaccuracies in pop culture on a daily basis. For science, 
it would be interesting to <laughs> experience what it is like to get an MRI. Because the last brain MRI I underwent, I was unconscious during it. To connect this to our class, these processes were both discussed, and I was slightly foggy on each one. It is evident as to why CAT scans are being phased out by the new capacities of MRI, which can produce 3D moving images, which are not quite at the level that Walking Dead would like to depict, but they're getting closer every and every day that proceeds. Thank you. Somewhere in all that organic wiring, all those ripples of light, is you, a thing that makes you unique and human. You don't make sense, ever? <laughs>